Welcome, folks, to your weekly episode of The Beer Show. I am your host, Frédéric Bouchard, and today I am drinking an Oktoberfest from Les Trois Mousquetaires. This is a brewery located in Brassard, so it's basically uh, around Montreal. And uh, it is a uh, copper lager, so sort of resembles uh, Red Hell, if you would like. It is uh, served in a 750 milliliter bottle. Super nice bottle, big format, thick glass. So it looks really professional. <clears throat> and you also have all that information on the bottle. And this is money, guys. You read it and you're able to see where the grains and the malts come from. Where is the hops coming from? Uh, the alcohol by volume, which is 6.4%. Uh, the t the suggested, suggested temperature that you should have it. Uh, does this beer age well? The type of glasses. T this is money, guys. And uh, yeah, I'm going to enjoy drinking that here. So let's go ahead and have ourselves a nice big pour in my sort of mug oh it's a foamy one oh i'm lucky i'm lucky i'm lucky that would have been whack on tape so just so you guys can properly see the bottle not sure if you're seeing we don't have the best lightning lighting of the world in my uh in my room just gonna put it there so as you can see you got this dark orange color with this really really thick head with big bubbles it seems to be fading away uh, carbonation is not really still going on uh, even though it, it's it's still we could say it's a little bit clouded the beer let me just check guys because there's a depot in there and I'm gonna sploosh on. Yep, there is a depot at the bottom, so it would explain why the beer is a little bit cloudy. Got this deep, sweet, roasted caramel smell to it, which are usually typical to Red Hell. Uh, nice little beer. This beer, uh, they always bring it back for October. However, in the last two or three years, it's been the official beer of the Oktoberfest uh, festivity in Repentigny. So a uh, really renowned uh, beer it has uh, done is, uh, is round around the Quebec. It wasn't too expensive also. I paid um, <clears throat> $6.50 for a 750 milliliter bottle. So say I saw it. At some place, I saw it in the $12, $10, so compared to that, it's good. So as you can see, the, the head faded away because it's large bubble. Smell, like I said, caramel, rich, roasted, a little bit of sweetness. And now for that taste. Cheers, guys. Mmm. I love it, guys. I love it. <clears throat> yeah, my McGill Invitational mugs. Whatever. It's not due publicity for those guys. Um, I really love it, guys. I mean, just have another one. It was so good, I, I blacked out. <laughs> it's all in the roast flavor in there but it's nice because it doesn't have the bitterness and the aftertaste that we had last time we had the it was the Rickards Oktoberfest if I'm not mistaken it had like a the, the aftertaste wouldn't work like it, it was like I was drinking and then I was like this no it's it's still there it's present you still have a little taste of Burn? I wouldn't say burn. Burnt flavor kind of sounds bad, but uh, uh, deep roasted flavor. But it's not that bad. It it it, it keeps in the the mouth, but it's 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 nice. It's uh, 
I like it. Hmm. Smokiness too. I, I had a hint of smokiness. Well, it goes with it when you when you when you roast something, you you do have some smoke coming out. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm in the nose, but also in the smell. In the in the the the, the taste, you don't get the sweetness as much as in the nose. But um, I really like that beer, guys. And like I was saying, I really like the Trois Mousquetaires, a uh, really dynamic brewery that are, that they have a diversity of beers. So they have the classic branch, which is like four basic blonde, uh, redhead, whatever, white, etc. They have the signature series, which is already a little bit more hot to top, a little bit more uh, expensive. They have the... Um, <clears throat> Series, which is basically it means you cannot identify it which uh, they have the goose they have this they have the Baltic porters you know so they 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 have beer accessible for a little bit everybody uh, their price might be a little bit expensive however I think for this it's worth it so definitely a brewery that I like. They, they released a double IPA not too long ago and they did something marvelous marketing wise because you guys know I, 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 I'm a big fan of marketing. I, I study the marketing, I have a bachelor's degree in that and I use it every day. So I always like to study people and what they do with the marketing. And with that being said, they released a beer only at the brewery, okay? Only on one day. And they sold out in three hours. So imagine you released a product and you basically, they did like three or four po posts in the months to come before the release of the beer on the social media. So basically it doesn't cost anything. And they said, come October 13, we're selling the beers. There was a lineup. There was so many people waiting and they sold everything. And they didn't even have to pay a penny for transport because people came to them. This, you never see this in Quebec. So that was a really good thing. My hats to them for that. Let's get back to that beer, guys. One last taste. The head is completely gone. Sad. There's a little hint of... Um, sort of like orange, but like caramel caramelized orange candied orange sort of a little bit hinted there really great product uh, the best it's the best Oktoberfest beer I've tasted this month uh, this month I did like four or five reviews of those product and I wasn't necessarily impressed this one kind of like shows it to the others this is how you're supposed to brew an Oktoberfest beer um, 8.8 .8. 8 out of 10, yeah, 8.5 would be a little too much. Uh, so 8 out of 10, really good product. Suggest you go out. Uh, I'm not sure you might be able to get your hands on it uh, by the time we finish with this video, uh, but you will probably be able next year to get your hands on it. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to get the videos first hand and uh, you can like you can comment you can share and guys don't forget we're on it's not youtube is not the only social media we are on we are on facebook we're on twitter we're on linkedin you can connect with us on all those social media and you can comment on the video on those uh so thank you for watching and uh have a nice uh day